What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Texic 3 video. As you can see, I have my lovely gnome stick, which looks a lot like Santa, but you know, it's not. It's a gnome, and also maybe a villager, but look at how freaking cool it is. Alright, in today's episode, I plan on making a bunch of farms that are going to be used to make my base in the long run but yeah we gotta do a lot of stuff so let's get started I have probably done some stuff which probably should have recorded but I made I already made the pulverizer but I actually made an alloy smelter so I get some steel ingot and I'm making an extractor so I can get some more rubber and uh, pretty soon I'm going to be making a recycler because the recycler actually you can scrap down nickel and all that where is it? it's on this side right here look at this this uh pretty cheap ish kind of kind of expensive honestly rubber is like my biggest resource i can't get i'm planted down some trees but you can't even bone meal them you actually have to wait for them to grow it's very odd but yeah i might go around and get some more rubber trees but for now dude we're actually making some good progress to get a few more resources out of things because you can smelt that rubber wood and get rubber out of it We're making a concrete farm, we're pulverizing our flowers to get dyes, and then over here we have two placers and breakers. This is a block placer, which is about to run out. This is a block breaker, and you power them through redstone. And I'm using a vacuum hopper, which is extremely good, and I recommend if you just want a hopper that'll pick it up quickly and place it quickly. This is definitely the resource or tool for you and I will be back when I have everything all set up cuz I'm very unorganized and this is gonna take a while so <laughs> we'll plan everything out and then I'll see you when we are actually at the farm and we start constructing it all right we see the ship off in the distance now as we approach it um, we have our plans for what we want to do
So I flew away to like despawn the mobs at the spawners, and I landed on one of these islands floating in the sky, right? I landed on that one. That one had two right there, two blocks of diamonds. This one had ten, plus five other diamonds and some hexical essence. I'm telling you guys, those things are busted, and. So is this friggin' spawner, dude. I miscalculated. I did not realize there is as many spawners as there are. There are so many spawners in this place. Hopefully, if all the mobs have despawned. Besides the chicken, after dealing with many, many frustrations, I have actually made the killing area. Um, sadly, our baby chicken died. It's so depressing. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna cry. But yeah, he died. I named him, and then he suffocated in a wall. <laughs> Saying that out loud is kind of funny, but yeah, he died, dude. He suffocated in a wall. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting XP. I'm trying to get a better sword so I can actually kill these guys faster. Maybe use some life steal too, you know? I don't know what ruined is. Get some XP boost, baby. So we have finished the mob farm. As you can see, it is still as busted as it was before. As you can see, we get a bunch of drops. There's so many, so much to trade for the cleric over here. Definitely recommend building this if you do play Texic, or even if you just have the Dungeon Tactics mod. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.